Hey guys, uh, I know you haven't seen me in quite a while. Um, I've had a lot going on in life, but I wanted to give you an update that uh, within the next 24 to 48 hours, I'm going to be putting out a video, um, a pretty important video, honestly, uh, on the rapture and end time events. And I wanted to show you some things in scripture. And uh, I'll be honest, it's probably going to be a little bit of a controversial video. Um, and I know many of you have, have noticed that I don't talk a lot on my channel about end time events. I don't talk about, you know, the rapture very much on my channel uh, for a few reasons. But the, the majority of the, the main reason I don't is how controversial the topic is. There's a lot of bickering. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of division in the body um, on this issue. Um, and people are very sensitive about it. And people will get very, very vicious over this. I mean, they'll call out your salvation in a heartbeat and turn it into a salvation issue real quick if you don't agree with everything they they believe on, on the rapture, pre-trib, post-trib, whatever. Um, people are very, very sensitive about this stuff. And they are they get very mean and vicious uh, about this. And so for that reason, uh, primarily, I, I just don't really talk about it very much on my channel. I have my own beliefs on this, um, and I just have pretty much kept them to myself. You know, I'm I'm open-minded, right? I'm I'm not a prophet. I'm not an expert. You know, I'm no Notre Dame. Um, but I've kind of kept my views on this to myself. Um, but this season, this Feast of Trumpets has been a little bit more. There's been a little bit more hysteria this Feast of Trumpets than in years past. I mean, usually every year around September, all the, the channels on YouTube start going crazy and having dreams and visions that usually don't come to pass and people making all kinds of conjecture and, and whatnot. Um, and for the most part, I've just kind of kept it to myself. Like I just kind of stay in my corner on this issue. But this year it's been, you know, a little worse than in years past, and I've just really had it on my heart to talk about my feelings on this and talk about some things in scripture um, that, I, that I think a lot of these channels are missing and they're not getting right. Um, there's a lot of error being taught by these channels, and, and, and m many of these brothers and sisters are brothers and sisters who I love and I think are wonderful, and they have very good ministries. But they're very, in my opinion, they're very wrong on a lot of issues. And for that reason, their, their dates and their calendars and all of their predictions are wrong. And um, I want to talk about why. Um, I've, I've, I've kept a lot of this to myself. I haven't talked a lot about it. Um, but I've just really had it strong on my heart here recently it, with recent events. To, to talk about it and if I offend people that's okay um, if I lose subs which I'm sure that I will that's okay but um, I just really have it strongly on my heart to uh, to talk about this so um, if you are interested in end time events if you are interested in the rapture if you're somebody that is down in the dumps right now and depressed because you got on board the hype train that was going on with this um, meeting, uh, this global summit that people were coming out and dogmatically telling everyone that it was the Daniel 9 covenant. And if you feel disappointed and your faith is hurt and you're wounded right now, I highly suggest that you tune in within the next 24 to 48 hours and take a look at the video I'm going to put out. I'm going to go through Revelation. I'm going to go through Daniel 9. I'm going to show you some things that I think a lot of these individuals are missing and they're wrong on and why I think their dates and their their timelines and their doctrine is off and unfortunately it's leading to uh, error. It's leading to, it's leading others astray. And listen, I know a lot of these brothers and sisters um, they mean well. And like I said, I, I really enjoy some of these folks' channels. I think they're 
wonderful brothers and sisters in Christ. I love them. But on some of these issues, they're dead wrong, in my opinion. And because of their, some of their foundational errors in their theology, it's causing their, their timelines to be off. It's causing their um, end-time um, eschatology to be off. And so I want to talk about that. And I want to show you in Scripture where I'm getting my beliefs from. And I want to try and prove my case to you with the Bible. Um, so if that's something that interests you, just keep it, keep an eye out um, and tune in within the next couple of days. Right now I'm on my way to Connecticut, back home where I grew up, to spend some time with family and spend some alone time with the Lord. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to make that video. Um, and I'm going to um, go over these scriptures with you. We're going to do a study. And I'm going to show you some things maybe you've not heard before. Um, like I said probably going to lose some subs over it. People are probably going to get upset because it's, um, I don't follow the traditions of men. I don't follow the typical traditions that you've probably heard from all of the channels that we watch all the time. But let's be honest, folks, how many times, how many years have gone by now with these individuals claiming it's this season, it's this date, it's this year. How many times have they been right, folks? How many times have they been wrong? Okay. Um, I, I, I 100% believe God gives dreams and visions and he speaks to us and he does miracles. I'm far from a cessationist, but I can tell you one thing, folks, God is not going to give you a dream and tell you that it's this year or this date and then lie to you. Okay. That's not how God works. He doesn't lie and he's not going to lead you astray and he is not the author of confusion. Okay. Um, and yet every single year we have these individuals making these bold claims and um, every single year it doesn't come to pass. So um, I, I just ask you guys to tune in and hopefully we'll learn something together. I love you guys. Bye.